Hi, this is Ramya Caparasso, and I'm from Tax Accounting Adelaide, and uh, I'm a silver partner of uh, Zero, and I'm just going to uh, introduce you to Zero. Okay, we're going to go through what is Zero and who is Zero, give you a bit of a demonstration of Zero, what I like about Zero, then you know how much Zero costs, and uh, answer some other questions. So Zero is a is a very popular online accounting system. So online accounting system means it's uh, browser based and it's not installed into your desktop. So uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment. Uh, it can integrate sales and purchasing invoices. So you've got, rather than you have separate systems, it's, it's all in one where you can send invoices to your clients uh, and also uh, process uh, purchases invoices as well. You can also process payroll and have staff on zero. Uh, pay, it can take care of your GST and VAS returns and also give you reports so you, you know how your business is going. One of the great things about zero is uh, it imports feeds from banks which allows you to get overnight transactions from your bank so that you just need to point them into the right account and GST codes. Uh, and also, Zero is very clever in that it will learn your transactions and matches them to, to accounts that it knows they need to go to. For instance, if you have been going to Officeworks, it may know to code it to printing and stationery and that it has GST on it. Um, Zero is regularly updated automatically by the software company Zero. It's backed up for you so you never have to back up things. You don't have to share it with, you don't have to give a copy to your accountant because you can just invite them in and they can access it for you. So save you bringing your information down to your accountant as well. Uh, all you need is any computer or de uh, device which has the internet and uh, yeah, it is able to be used on a desktop and also of smart devices. Naturally the smart devices apps just a little bit more limited than the full desktop version which gives you all the features. So you would prefer to use it on a desktop. And there's no need to update it or back it up as I said because the software company is doing that for you. It is very secure and, and encrypted and you do have your own password access so don't share your passwords of course. There is also more than one user with different roles so you can set up zero for people who just look at it just have read only access such as a, a board manager or, a, or an auditor uh, or, or just someone who gives you advice for instance it can be a read only you can also obviously share with your advisor your accountant you know, who can do everything on it and, and see that or you could you can invite people to just for instance have limited access such as someone just doing invoices for you and just being able to send invoices. So yeah, Zero is one of the most common uh, leading players in the online accounting or accounting software uh, in, in the Australian small business accounting software market. Probably its major rivals are Myob, uh, QuickBooks and Reckon and there are others such as Sage wave there are many many other alternatives um, it is it is a good way to, to for small business owners to to easily cope with with doing their their own books uh, whereas some of the other softwares may be a little bit more difficult to use i, I find zero is a little bit more user friendly and you don't need to have much accounting knowledge to operate it it obviously saves you input time because of the, the transactions coming into the software uh, and so because you're saving some time you can obviously spend more time on other activities such as uh, growing your business. Uh, Zero gives small business a, an easy way to keep the scoreboard of your business going. Uh, it gives you and sharing your access with your, your advisors or other people and within your staff and it gives them easy access to an integrated accounting system which is Bank, transa bank transactions, processing your bank transactions, uh, your sales and purchasing invoices, 
it gives you reports and does your batch returns and uh, payroll and you can do it anywhere anytime as long as you've got the internet. So Xero is a, a full general ledger system so it'll be able to produce all financials and tax returns. It, it, can, it can accommodate many banks and the bank feeds for Australian banks. It's easy to keep your bank reconciled. It can have uh, uh, bank statements, uh, sorry, uh, account, account, you can send invoices and keep track of your purchase invoices as well as sending orders to your, your suppliers uh, or accepting orders from your clients and also you can send statements and uh, keep on top of any debt or amounts that are owing. You can do batch payments so you can make more than one payment to staff or uh, suppliers as long as your banking enables it. You can also do your BAS returns, do your monthly reporting, including budget. Uh, you can set budgets, which is a great way to grow your business. You can also track expense claims, so other people can have expenses on behalf of the business and you can reimburse them for it. You can also do project management or contract management. You can also cater for fixed assets. Uh, if you need to uh, deal with overseas multi-currencies, you can do that on Xero as well. You can also, of course, pay employees and keep a track of that and it's single touch payroll enabled. And uh, I mentioned you can, we're just gonna pop into uh, showing you something. So here's the dashboard of, of uh, Xero. Um, on your dashboard, you'll see uh, a bank account. So obviously you'll have a bank account when you're running a business and you'll need to press your reconcile 28 items and then put in the transactions as necessary. So for instance, this one, uh, Ridgeway University has paid us. So it's automatically matching that sales invoice to that. So you can okay that. Uh, if you need to discuss something with your account and you're not sure where to code it, you can put into the discuss tab. This is an old invoice and then save it and then let your accountant know and he can review that and help you code things. Uh, Cooper, this one here, we're just going to put Cooper Street. We're going to add that in and put it to office expenses. And then we know there's GST on that, so we're going to enter that in as well. Okay, a handy feature also I want to show you on the, is obviously to send invoices. So on your dash, dashboard, you can uh, send a sales invoice through here, or you can enter a, a purchase invoice through here. Uh, you can also send the statements to people by entering this, going to your awaiting payment area, and when that comes up, you can send invoices, so send statements or resend an invoice or change an invoice, depending on what you can do. You can also set up re repeating invoices uh, and new invoices, uh, and you can also do a credit note if you need to do that, which is here. You can also import in items so that you can. Uh, customize and use regular items on your invoices. I want to show you that you can get help from Xero, so free support from Xero if you go to this question mark and press the help button and then go contact Xero support and that will bring up a new screen. It will ask you to search for what you're looking for, so for instance if you're having a payroll issue you can say, okay, not, not able to do payroll. And then it finally comes up. Okay, so you can choose your topic. Let's say you're having problems with uh, fix. fix uh, let's say you, you can't do a report and you, 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 you outline what your problem is. And then you can invite zero in by clicking this button and they can actually go into your, or you can share it with anybody in the team. You can actually detail that, send it, and then Xero is very good at uh, their support team will get back to you within 24 hours, giving you an idea of what they think you can do to fix your problem or some guidance on how to go about your problem.
Okay, so that's a bit of a snapshot of things. Obviously, reports are, are pretty important to you as well. So if you're tracking along, you can go into accounting and reports. And you can see all sorts of things from how much your debtors and creditors are to your budget manager, which is setting your budgets. Obviously, your profit and loss is a good one to look into. So, of course, one of the best things about zero is makes it easy to look at your profit and loss. So please look at that every month. See if you're winning or losing and make your business fun by knowing how you're doing. Okay, so let's just go back over why uh, why customers love Zero. Well, obviously the updated daily bank feeds makes your life easy. To actually update your Zero every day is a very short process and you can do it faster than you drink your coffee. Uh, it's simple and easy uh, invoicing, so you, you, that makes it all integrated, sending different kinds of invoices and orders, and you can pull that through if you, if you want to get in orders uh, uh, authorised, and then you drag that into being uh, a job and then also being invoiced. Uh, you can also use budgeting to drive your business to success. So a good thing is to set targets for yourself and what you want to achieve in your business and then align that with some budgets. And then that gives you that process to keep driving you to the business growth that you want. You can use Xero anywhere, anytime. So anywhere in the world, as I said, any, any type of device or computer. Uh, and you can share it, obviously, with your, your advisors for tax planning. You can have collaboration with advisors uh, because your accountant knows where you're at right now. You can have a much better live tax planning or live scoreboard or, or sorting out any issues at the, at the time. So the traditional way of having your accountant do mostly bookkeeping and keep you up to date is a little bit eliminated. You can do more fun stuff and more evaluating stuff with your advisors, such as growing a business. Um, simple and easy to prepare financial reports, so I showed you quickly, you can quickly prepare reports. Also you can do your VAS returns or have the information, it's all collated to do your VAS returns if your account is helping you. Um, it's safe and secure data, data. You have unlimited support and I showed you how to use the support on Zero. There's no installation or upgrade or maintenance. Once you get your, your zero going, you don't have to constantly reinstall upgrades and, and things like that. There's no big upfront cost with zero. You pay it as a monthly ongoing fee and you can quit at any time. As if you do pay one a month in advance, so you, that's something to know. Uh, why is accounting good for both you and the accountant? Well, it's a great way for your accountant to be more involved in your business because he's got live information uh, rather than waiting for you to come along with a box full or, or, or to read your your file, your desktop accounting system. And email. an accountant may do that many months after the year ends, so he hasn't got timely and relevant information, whereas zero, you have much more up-to-date and current information to give to to share with your accountant, and that can help you manage your business better. Uh, it's a very efficient way to keep the scoreboard of your business up to date and use accounting to grow your business. So, just like if you're watching a game of sport, you need to know what the score is. You wouldn't be running your business, or you shouldn't be running your business without knowing the scoreboard. So you have to know whether you're winning or losing. It changes the way you manage your business. You make better decisions basically on knowing your accounting. So I call that using your accounting to grow your business. So and it also makes your fun, your business more fun. So when you know exactly if you your scoreboard, it sort of drives you to have more fun and, and that's the purpose of your business is to make money and to know your numbers and accounting. So that's really important. Uh, so it, it is much more, as I said, for your accountant, it's much easier for your accountant to be involved with your business because he's got live information and he's got your scoreboard in front of him as well. Uh, so an easy way to drive your business growth is to, to collaborate with your advisor and have regular meetings with them, which gives him, which can give them regular information about your business, where it's at, let's say every quarter, and also 
uh, once you've got that scoreboard, you can use that to make more decisions and use your, your advisor as a more of a business grower or, a, or some, because you do have more problems in your business and growing your business. And so it's good to profit from your advisor's experience on that rather than just using him as someone who to help you keep your books up to date. Yeah, so it's, there is a comprehensive uh, a range of management reports which I encourage all people using Xero to use to better manage their business. So uh, the great thing about uh, Xero is it's a fixed fee uh, which makes your cash flow even over the, over the year. Uh, it's a and it's a good time saver, so it's a way to for you to save uh, your time and, and have more time to grow your business. And, and have. Generally, a business package is $50 per month. Um, there are special deals. If you don't need to use invoicing and payroll, you can ask your accountant and they, they can do a special, uh, cheaper version of Zero for you. Um, we normally implement zero for people, uh, depending if they're moving from another accounting package, it may be more, a bit more complex, and we would we'll, like to go through that with you. But yeah, if, you, if you're tired of uh, maybe if it's been really hard for you to keep account, your accounting up to date, a good step is to probably have a chat to us and see if we can implement zero for you, and that, that's going to make a much faster way for you to keep yourself up to date and, and, and do better with your business. So here's the pricing at the time of doing this video. Uh, there is a small starter package for $25 per, per month for, for businesses and that allows you to only enter five bills and invoices and only 20 bank transactions and payroll for one person. Uh, if you want to step up to the standard $50 per month, it's payroll for two persons, but unlimited invoices and quotes and entering bills, and also allows you to reconcile as many bank transactions as you want. Um, if you need more than two payroll, so up to five people payroll, you need premium five, which is $65 per month. I uh, hope you've enjoyed our a session on uh, zero. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, ask us. Or if you'd like to implement zero for your business, we'd love to have a chat with you. You can contact us on our website, which is taxaccountingadelaide.com. Thank you for listening, and uh, I hope your business all the very best. And yeah, give give some thought to what we've said about zero and you know if you are taking the next step it is a good thing to to grow your business from maybe spreadsheets or the shoebox method it is really important if you want to be a serious business you need the information to have that that good scoreboard also if you you're converting to being gst registered it's probably time to have a software package take most most care of doing that for you Thanks, and once again, my name's Ronya from Tax Accounting Adelaide, and I hope you've enjoyed our introduction to Zero.